What is up, party people? Jeremy, Snakes for the Memories, and we are back with more building. Uh, drywall day today. Uh, also, electrical, a little bit of electrical, a little bit of everything, you know, it's gonna be happening today. Um, wanna find out what we're doing? Stick around. So yeah, I am uh, about to put in the runners for up top. So figured, you know, show that off. I uh, don't think this is too bad of a job. It's just gonna be putting what? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven runners to go across here. So yeah, let me uh, back up this camera. I'll probably unplug that light just so it's not as bright for you guys. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start uh, Assembling the ceiling. Okay, guys, so the runners are set. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, holds a couple hundred pounds, so <laughs> should hold drywall. Um, yeah, that's, uh, they're set in there. It's pretty exciting, because that means we are one more step closer to being done with this rat shed, guys. So I guess the next step is gonna be drywalling. Uh, drywalling, and then, uh, 
Ooh, I still have to install the exhaust fan, which should be here tomorrow. I don't know if it will be, you know. Take that with a grain of salt. Ah, good old Amazon. I have to wire in the plugs for either the mini split, if we ever put one in. It's just, I'd rather have it wired in, have it not need it, need it not have it, because I already had the, all the walls opened up. So I'm gonna put a 20 amp uh, breaker and outlet up there, just to, you know, just in case. And I also have to wire in the uh, exhaust fan. I'm gonna have to cut out that wall because, you know, after I insulated everything, I decided, hey, let's uh, let, let's just change up the plan. Okay, guys? <laughs> because well, let's see here, let's see if I can show you. Obviously it's, it's on the opposite wall, but right there, up there, was where I was gonna put it. But I wanted my, cause I'm, you see how I, I lowered the ceiling down. I'm gonna throw insulation up there just so it's nice and it holds in, holds in temperature. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it was gonna be a pain in the butt actually to like actually put it up there and then create like a downdraft area. Too complicated for me, especially since I've never done any of this kind of work before in my life. So this is so far what it's looking like. Uh, what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Do you guys think this is looking good? Do you think it's gonna be a good rat shed? There you go. Now you guys kind of got a little bit more of the rafter situation. Yeah, uh, I couldn't put it all the way. I wanted to put them all the way up against the, I don't know what they're called, trusses. Uh, but I forgot it has hurricane straps, which was cool, but they're on opposite sides. So on this side, they are closer to me. And then on that side, they're on the other side. So if I, I couldn't put a two by four directly up against either one of those sides. Uh, so I had to put a little gap in between, but I think that's gonna be fine. So when I put up the drywall, I really think that will take care of all the wobble issue. I think it'll, you know, it'll rigid it up, um, give it some rigidity and stiffness. And honestly, I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a great rat shed in my opinion. So yeah, we are, what? About a quarter of the way done? Because we have exhaust fan, some more electrical, drywall, uh, spackling, and painting. So we have all that still to do. So this video is already getting long enough. Uh, again, I hope you guys like this video. Again, uh, again, I hope you guys like this video. And please, if you haven't, like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can follow us on this journey. I think this is pretty cool. I'm having fun. I don't know. I'm, I'm very proud of what I'm doing. Uh, is it perfect? I don't know. I, I, it's perfect for what I can do. This is the best of my ability because I've never done this before. But I really do uh, think I'm doing a great job on this. Uh, I'm really excited and enjoy actually getting this built. Uh, and then I also still have the snake room to build. So this is getting my feet wet in the rat shed. Okay, so first off, before I start putting in the ceiling drywall, I need to, there's a light switch, well, outlet up top there, that's for the light switch to run the lights. It's up at the, the peak of the ceiling, uh, of the roof, I mean, uh, and I'm going to lower it down so it's gonna be on one of these bars right here so I can just run my light shorter cord uh, so I don't have to run the uh, lights up through the ceiling uh, and to the roof. So now I'm gonna be lowering it down. So that's what we're gonna do. That's that right now. So now I guess the next step is gonna be so, I still have this outlet to put in right here. Uh, I have this wire. I, again, as I said, I changed up my way of doing it. I was gonna be putting the exhaust fan up there, but now those are just gonna be attic vents to keep the attic cool. Well, attic, ceiling, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what to call it. Uh, and then I'm gonna be putting my exhaust fan right about here. Uh, probably gonna have to cut this out uh, 
and change up that layout just a little bit. But that's where when that gets here, hopefully later today. Uh, Amazon was supposed to be here yesterday with stuff and they just didn't show up. But again, it's out for delivery again today. So fingers crossed that stuff shows up. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna get this uh, box wired in. So these are the outlets that I'm going to be using. Um, I got 20 amp GFI outlets, uh, one for the exhaust and then one for the mini split if I ever put a mini split in. Wow. So I'm going to get this wired in and uh, yeah, Willie cruising through here guys. Okay guys, so first panel of drywall is gonna be going up. I have Jackson here to help me. What's the worst that could happen? He's got this. You got this? What's up guys? Taking a break from the ceiling because I dropped the piece and it broke so I have to go buy more. It happens. Uh, but uh, UPS came early. I think they came before noon today. Very, very awesome. So this is the exhaust fan I'm putting in. It's an AC Infinity exhaust fan. It's a 16 inch. So this is gonna go right here. Just like so. And then I will, you know, put in some cro more cross bracing, replace that. Figured I would show the process of doing that. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, not gonna lie, I got one of these little oscillators, and this has made all the jobs so easy here. I'm not gonna lie, I bought like a jigsaw, a sawzall. And then this, I haven't even opened up anything else. This has been doing such like cutting up two by fours and things. I have a rip saw for that. But yeah, this guy, I'm just gonna, I've already marked it out where I need to measure. I mean, where I need it to cut. So I'm just gonna go grab a straight edge real quick and you know, check the line. And we're gonna cut this out. So this should make quick work of this job. Uh, it's not like a stick wall or anything. Find your ears. Well, there we go, guys. Hole is cut. Now I'm going to, actually, I'm just going to mount this in and then create a frame around it. I feel like it should be pretty easy, I think. But maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> Always wear eye protection. Probably should have started the video with that. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, guys. So. Ceiling is finally done. I broke two pieces. Uh, yeah. 
drywalling the ceiling by yourself. This is the easiest. Until, you know, you Google how to do it and then it makes it pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> snap two pieces on the exact same panel. Um, but, you know, the ceiling is done. The next step is going to be doing the walls. So, I think we're going to take a break. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, the walls are going to be next. So I'm going to get those knocked out. But the ceiling is good. I got freaking, I got the lights hung up. So now I got light, I got the like cable manager and everything still. But I'm pretty happy with the way the lights turned out. Those things are bright. I'm thinking about putting them in the snake room. Uh, yeah, UFO lights, who would have known? So yeah, lights pretty sweet. Just have to drywall the walls now. And then we're on to the next step of mudding and painting. Yeah, so, uh, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get all the updates on this rat shed. And then don't forget, we still have a snake room to build. Ugh, this was this was the test. It was the rat room. Because they're rats. They don't care. But I do. <laughs> but seriously, I wanted to do my try to do my best learning out here, and then I'm gonna move into the snake room and build the wall there. We get we're gonna pay more to do before then. Egg pulling, egg cutting, clutch update. That's definitely coming. Unless it already came. I have no idea where this video falls in the timeline. Uh, but yeah, I guess you know. Some of you guys want to come out and see the walls get done. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces.